Blessed love, pleasant good evening, good afternoon, warm welcome. This is the E-Review giving you entertainment update and what's buzzing in your zone globally. Um, as you know, we're in the month of February and February is celebrated as Reggae Month in Jamaica. See, so the Virgin Way I make all the headlines, as they are them can see right now, is Sizzler Kolonji. See, and um, we're going to read an article from The Gleaner. See, yeah. And um, see what Sizzler up to these days. So, as we quote from The Gleaner, come Saturday, February 26, Rastafarian singer, Miguel Collins, better known as Sisla Kolonji, will make his historic debut with a 35-piece orchestra in performance for Regamon 2022. The Gleaner had a quick one-on-one -on -one with Sisla recently, and he spoke glowingly about Regamon and the upcoming event. I am honored being a part of reggae month it is a great event and i think we all should support it sizzler said it is a month in which we can ex express ourselves through the music and items pass on to us from the cultural sense from our forefathers with likes of bob marley peter touch and all the great icons which went before us they have laid the foundation for us and made life easier by creating this music which we can use to educate our people and show them the light. Reggae music is something that we can feed the people with. It is legal finance and no one can has any control over it but we ourselves from the struggle. The Black Conscious Sister Kolonji declare. Reggae Month is Reggae Month, the only month long reggae festival anywhere in the world is being celebrated under the team Catch the Rhythm. The roster for February is chock full, event that are shown virtually every day on Reggae Mon TV, which is streamed on various online platforms, including Jamaica Culture Development Commission, YouTube, and Facebook pages. And the Facebook page of the Ministry of Culture and Gender, Entertainment, and Sport, and Minister Olivia, Olivia Grange, and Anhan P., B, C, J, and T, V, J. Zane Sizzler advice is just be excited and be optimistic about the fact that you are presenting your, representing your, your people. I am not only representing for myself as Sizzler or Jamaica. For Reggae Month or Black History Month, I am representing for the people of the world who have been through this entire struggle. He also speak passionately about Black History Month as a time in which we should recall the great deeds of our forefathers and all those wars they fight, they fight, they fought for us to be here and express it through music. Sizzla, who is acknowledged as one of reggae music most commercially successful artist during his career has released more than 56 albums and many would add and counting several of his songs are already classics and he is and he has performed at more concert across the entire globe than he can remember but reggae month concert for saturday is special it is just so special all these people coming together to create this um, entire concert 
first first forcing forcing together um the first in together the 35 piece orchestra the naya and reggae it is it is a first of its kind and i am honored to be a part of it the black woman and child singer said he added the all choreography include the settings of the stage wasn't really done by Sizzler. They structured everything without Sizzler and this showed the love. They understood very well what was going on and once you can understand that and get that structure for the nation, it is a wonderful thing. Minister of Culture uh, and Gender, Entertainment and Sport, Olivia Grange, explained um, the idea behind this first of its kind concert. This is the first month long reggae festival in the world, and Jamaica is home of reggae. So, so far, reggae month each year we have to expand and had a new concept and uh, re really highlight our musician and our singers this year is our 60th anniversary of independence and we want it to be extra special and one of one of the extra special thing that we could do was to ask Sizzler to perform Minister Grange told the Gleaner and Sizzler when you hear his voice it is like an instrument you listen to him sing and you can hear so many things. Sometimes it is chilling. Sometimes it is thrilling. And do put his voice with a 35-piece orchestra for me. That was ultimate. And my team, Lenny Salman, we work out the details and got John Williams involved, Dean Fraser, Ibo Cooper, and Harry of the fantastic Jamaican musician. And when we go virtual to the world with this, it is going to be historic. It is going to be mind-blowing, Minister Grange promise. And that is the end of the article, my people. So um, that's what's making the entertainment news right here on the E review i want to say manners and respect peace and love and thank you all for tuning in peace and love smash that subscribe button see you on the next video i guess not the mindset smash that subscribe button see you on the next video i guess not the mindset